Okay, so the next movie I've seen here at the BFI London Film Festival, a movie starring Glenn Close called uh, The Summer Book. I get what they were going for with this. The, the crux of the story is this. You've got three generations of families here. Grandmother, father, daughter. Through, and I mean very subtle dialogue, you find out that the mother's recently deceased. You don't know what from, you don't know why. You just know that you've now got this father-daughter dynamic without a mother in their life. Um, they come to this island, it looks like it's Finland. Um, they come to this very small island, they've got the only building on the island. And again, through very subtle exposition, you find out that the grandmother's there to help the father while he works, so there's someone to look after the little girl. And thematically, what they're going for here is trying to tell the story of a family who's undergone loss and which is trying to mend itself back together. It's trying to heal. Thematically, the film works. The problem doesn't come from what themes the movie is trying to discuss. The problem comes from <laughs> the execution. <laughs> the film's only an hour and a half long, but it is boring. It is, and what's, what's ironic is that I think the, the, that, that boredom that you feel was intentional to highlight how little there is to do on the island. There's even scenes where the young girl is, is praying, dear God, let something happen, I'm so bored. And I, and I kind of heard that line and I was like, yep, that's how myself and I imagine a few other people in this audience are feeling. Um, the performances are good, like, I didn't feel anyone was phoning it in. The problem was is that the characters who these actors were playing were not characters who I found relatable or who I ever connected with. You know, after getting out of movies like Living in Two Worlds and that Superman and Christopher Reeve documentary which had me bawling in the theatre, considering the, what should be quite universal subject matter here, it just left me feeling very cold, very disattached, unattached, very distant, and it, it never let me connect with the characters and never gave me a sense of what they're really going through emotionally and allowed me to share that emotion with them, which would have made for a good movie, because the themes they chose to highlight, as I said, the themes were in place here to make a good movie, but just a ball fest um, not one that'll stay with me I mean score wise I'm, I'm never going to watch this movie again it, it's not it's not a bad movie in how it's made it's a bad movie in, in I guess how into, how much value I found from it it's, it's, it's based on that I've got to put it middle of the road so 5 out of 10 6 out of 10 I mean, look, the cinematography was nice. It was shot in natural light, which is hard to manage with. Performances, as I said, were good. Themes were good. So there are things here that are good. So, yeah, let's go above five. Let's go six out of ten for this movie. It just failed to get me to connect with it. And for a movie which is about such deep-rooted family drama, for it to never actually be dramatic or let me connect with the characters, that's a crying shame. Um, but yeah, if you do have a chance to see the summer book, let me know what you guys thought down below. Uh, there is another video up here for you guys to watch and a subscribe button down here. Uh, keep it right here on the Silver Screen Dudes YouTube channel. There will be more from the London Film Festival uh, over the course of the next day. So stay, keep it right here. Bye for now.